Hello YouTube friends, it's Dale from whatever the weather may be. Well, I made a little video this morning <clears throat> and you might have been able to tell in my voice that I was quite put out that the weather hasn't been very nice and I haven't been able to get outside. And then after lunch, I watched people walking by in just with sweaters on and I'm thinking, oh, it must have gotten really warm. So out I came and I've been out ever since. So I've been working in my yard, in my gardens, and I've started to put together my new plan for the yard. That, I'll go around here. So that arbor used to be over where that pallet is. And so I've moved it over here for right now. My strawberry bed. And this is a little arbor that I made just out of twigs. I'm going to grow some hyacinth bean on that. Here's my uh, herb bed. It's kind of dirty. Anyway, on this arbor now, I'm going to be putting a few different things on this side of it. I've ordered some black berry bushes that I'm going to plant behind it so that I can use the the trellis to kind of support them a bit. And then on this side, I'm going to plant um, just along here, things like morning glories. I have some uh, climbing petunias. I have a several different varieties of flowers. So I'm going to plant those to go up on this side. And behind here, this part back here, that's my chamomile patch. And I have chamomile coming up already. This is perennial chamomile. Look at it. It's already coming up. So I have to tidy this up. I made these big trenches last fall. Now I can bring that back down a bit. So I like having that chalice here. I think it's going to be very nice. And I'm going to get some um, solar... Uh, lights to put on it so it lights up at night. It'll be quite pretty. So then along here this is my sweet pea area. Joe's peas they go right along here. And then here where I've laid the cardboard and the, the weed mat from here all the way down to the end. That's gonna be my vegetable garden strip. Used to be I used the whole garden for vegetables, but I kind of am gonna split it up into different areas now. So for sure this is going to be my root crops in here. Carrots, beets, um, I don't know what else. Then, I don't know if you can see this little outline of a path on the ground. I wish I didn't have my... So that's going to be a little stone path. And over here, this area here, is all going to be flowers. Perennials and annuals mixed. This area from there down to here is all going to be flowers. So there'll be flowers along the path. In behind... Well, before I go there, the area my finger from here to here to back there to back there to here that's going to be a seating area where I'm going to we're going to put crushed rock down there and we're going to have our little bistro table and behind it right along here I'm going to put some trellis for some privacy and we'll grow things up on the trellis the area behind here I'm going to put long rows of Things like lettuce, kale, Swiss chard, between the garden and here. Just, just long rows so that you can still walk through here. So we'll go down along this little path here. So now we're on the seating area. And there's a little path right here. So you'll be able to get away from the seating area three ways. And then there's another little path there. This area back here will be for other vegetables that 
um, I might want to fill in I don't know quite yet and then this area over here stand back a bit this area along here and to the other path that will all be flowers so then we'll walk along this little path and we'll turn around and that is going to be the new garden outlay I think it's going to be awesome what I have found in the past is when I've had this whole garden planted, much of it doesn't grow um, because the garden needs a lot of um, attention. It's not been used. It sat idle for many, many years until we moved here. And I haven't really been able to put in manure or anything on such a big patch. So what I plan to do this year is fix areas. So you know, this area here will get some, and that area up there, and this area. So it'll be much easier to to manage when it's in little plots. And I might very well pop some vegetables in with the flowers. I sort of like the potager um, idea. Now here, this is this little strip here, which has totally disappeared with the grass. I planted two blueberries last year and I think seven um, raspberries. I got two raspberries for sure that are okay. These two are okay. There was one blueberry there which I think is dead. None of these blueberries down here did anything and then there's one down here. So what I want to do with this now, <clears throat> I'm going to, I've ordered three current bushes two black and one red and I'm going to put the current bushes in the middle and then I'll put two raspberries at the end and one here and then behind that I'm going to buy some miniature apple trees and that's going to be apples so this whole area back here will be fruit and I think it'll be really nice so that's how my yard's going to look I'm really really excited about it I think it's going to be awesome. I just hope it's not going to be a drought year again, because we've had two for sure drought years in a row, and it's been very, very difficult to garden when it's been so dry. But now I'm going to go have a cup of tea, because I'm actually pleasantly pooped. I'm tired. I've been raking, I've been moving structures, I've been planning and plotting. I just have to tell you, I have two volunteer trees. Here's one right here. I did not plant this. And it grew that much last year. It's a poplar, I believe. I may very well regret having that poplar there, but I'm not pulling it out. There's no shade here, and I'm going to let it grow for right now anyway. Oops, just about fell. And it looks like it's it's going to be okay. And then another little, oh, the birds. Another little volunteer. It's very, very small. I can't even see it with the phone. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, an oak tree. It was growing underneath the hedge last year, so I planted it here. I have to be kind of careful where I put things because I have a lot of wires that crisscross over this back property. So hopefully that'll come back too. Now the wind's picking up. So from a very happy and content me, I hope you're outside if you can be enjoying the beautiful spring day. This is what spring should be like, not what, like what we've been having. Snow and cold. This is what we should be having. Oh, I can't wait to get started planting. But that's at least six weeks away in our climate.
Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, a great evening, and a great tomorrow. Bye for now.